The forum is a regional consultation for women political participation and peace building supported by the UNFPA through the Peace Building Fund and implemented by the Ma Foundation for Women. The gathering brought over 100 women together, irrespective of their political affiliation, to discuss the welfare of women in politics with the slogan, Give Us a Chance. The Chief Executive Officer of Ma Foundation for Women, Fatmata Jawara Dukure, said her foundation is raising awareness of women across the country to motivate them to participate in politics, especially in this upcoming local government election, to support all female candidates irrespective of their political party they belong to. We were actually targeting 100 women and we ended up having over 150 women. Uh, which is something great and I think it shows the commitment of women. So on, on that note, all I have to say is definitely I'm pleading on all women, irrespective of whatever political party we belong to, let us support women initiatives, let us support women and bring forward more women in positions to, rep for, to have a fair representation. Addressing the gathering, the governor of the region, Sambaba, said the involvement of women in politics is not hidden and he called on them to support one another to achieve their desire. Whilst he commended Ma Foundation for complimenting the government's effort in encouraging the women to take the front seat in the political arena. They want at least there should be an equity in the political arena. There should be equality in the political arena. There should be empowerment in the political arena. And this is exactly what the Ma Foundation is doing in trying to complement what we call government's effort. We know the drive that the president is doing. The president is, is the number one champion of women empowerment in terms of politics. We know that. That is why, in fact, he went further to establish a ministry gender that encompasses both male and female. And today the minister is, is a female who is in charge. So that shows. And how many ministers also do we have who are women? How many also directors do we have also who are women? It means that it is coming up and it's going to be gradual. And this is what, again, uh, the Ma Foundation want it to be replicated into the, into the political arena. And today we have it in the Basel Ward because it is in the Basel Ward that we have what we call a female candidate. And now that we have seen what the women have said, they said they have been clapping for men, they have been supporting men. Now it is their time also to be supported. The lead trainer of the female councillor, Aidan Dur, explained the significance of women participation in politics. She further emphasized the need to empower women and give them the chance to be elected into office instead of labeling them. What I will give the women, they should come out and participated in politics. Only one female participated in URR. It's very poor. I was even disappointed when I see one woman participating in politics in URR. Because URR women, they are very hardworking, and I know that when they go to council, they can do it. Because why I even wanted a woman in URR to go to council? Because there is a phone in council for women. If there is no woman in council, who is going to fight that for that phone for the woman? They will not have anybody to fight it for them because the men will not fight for them so that they can have their phone in council. According to officials, women are the pilot of all meaningful development initiatives and therefore it will be an achievement to vote them into office to take part in the political decision making processes for the development of the country and the welfare of women at large. Seru Kamara. Reporting for Jatis News from Basse Upper River Region.